Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Sacred Songs. You're going to enjoy um, some special music today by our own Gary Powell and Ryan Lockle. I know you'll be really excited to hear what they have to bring us today. But the theme they're going to be playing on is, is Psalm 23. And I know that is a favorite psalm of so many of you. And I want to go ahead and read that out loud now. I pray that you will just hear these words with your heart today. And um, let's just meditate on this psalm for a bit. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Such beautiful words from David. And I, I want to bring a few things to our attention today as we prepare our hearts to hear this midweek worship time. The Lord is my shepherd. David is establishing right off that he is mine. It is personal. He has a personal relationship with the Lord our God, who is his shepherd, who calms and collects him like a flock of sheep. In the second line, he says, I shall not want. And that ties right into that because God, the Lord our God, is our provider. He takes care of all our needs. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. All point to rest. God wants us to rest. You know, in the creation story, we know that there were six days of creation, and on the seventh, God rested. God rested from his work, and he calls us to rest from our work, that we are to take a Sabbath time and to make that time holy and restful. And that is what he's instructing here when you see a sheep in a green pasture or beside still waters, they are receiving nourishment and rest and restoring their soul. They're restoring their ability to go about their work. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. And those are the also instructions that God is directing our days. God is directing our nights. And how amazing that he cares about these important things for us so that we don't have to worry. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God's clearly providing provision and protection. So he is not only our shepherd, he does provide, and now he provides our protection, because we are told we will have times that will be valleys. We will have times of struggle and sadness, but we know that the God, our shepherd, goes with us. And how it says the rod and the staff, they comfort me. A staff could be a walking staff. It could be for protection. Those all enforce the, the whole concept of caring and protecting. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. God prepares 
a table for us. He prepares the blessings of food for us. And in the presence of the enemies, it's still that we can have that ability to speak with one another over a meal. You know, some of that is a lost art today, that where we can disagree with someone, but disagree in a kind and respectful manner. Maybe it's because we're not sharing meals together. Maybe it's because we're not continuing to love and show kindness, even though we may not have the same viewpoint but there could be a calm and kind discussion or a calm and kind conversation. I know with our political climate and with our racial tensions that some of those things seem to have um, become accelerated and more uh, apt to create anger and, and hatred. And that's not what our God calls us to do. So I would um, encourage you to think about that verse. You anoint my head with oil is, again, a courtesy, a blessing of caring for the sheep, a caring for God, caring for his people. And my cup overflows. We have more than enough. We have more than enough to care for ourselves and for others. And that is such, again, a blessing. And then the psalmist, David, closes with, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. He is committing himself to God. He is saying, He is my shepherd. I am staying with him. And he knows that God's goodness and God's mercy will go with him wherever he goes. Now, we all know that David had troubled times. Occasionally, David um, completely abandoned what he knew was right and good. But God did not leave him. And so I encourage you today, as we, we hear these beautiful words of Scripture, as we hear this amazing music by these two gentlemen, that your heart may be Um, uplifted, encouraged, comforted. May you feel fed in your soul. May you feel the presence of the great shepherd among you. Let's pray. Oh God, our shepherd, you do look after us in oh so many ways. You are our shepherd. You are our personal shepherd and you provide and you protect, and you comfort, and you, prov- you give us all the things we need if we just follow you. Help us to do that today, God. Help us to spend this half hour together in quiet meditation of our hearts, of our souls. Allow us to be calm And think on all these blessings that you give us as your children. We ask these things today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Let's worship.
Thank you.